Hello students, welcome to Evershine Coaching Center. I am Shah Faisal sir here. Dear students, today I am going to give you the very important concept regarding for class 10 board exams. And this video can be used from Karnataka State Board SSLC students and also the Central Board student that is CBSE. And also the students who are following NCERT textbooks they can use this as a reference to score a very good marks and this is a passing package as well the scoring package for your upcoming board exams let's begin children before i could start this class i just like to tell you one thing still the students who have not subscribed to our youtube channel evershine coaching groups do subscribe it and click the bell icon and select all option in that right and after watching this complete video, share this video as much as possible with your all friends. Say children, this is part 2, that is day 2. You can see here one theorem has been given. I want, I mean to say, this both the theorems are same, the solutions are same, but the way of asking questions are different. So you can get the question in any of the way. You should be very much careful with the statement, what has been given. Got it? And next question, you can see question number two, we have given the constructions and I have given two constructions here, option A and option B and this carries three marks and the theorem can, uh, it carries four to five marks. Got it? So these are the questions can be asked for three marks, you need to construct a triangle. And next coming back to the next question number three, you need to check whether the pair of equations, he has given the two equations here, you need to check whether they are consistent or inconsistent. First, you have to use the condition and you have to check whether they are consistent or not. In case, if they are consistent, then you have to solve them graphically. Okay. In the previous class, what I have given, that is directly we, did, we have drawn the graph. But here, before you draw the graph, first you have to ensure that these two equations are consistent or it is inconsistent. Got it? If it is consistent, then only you have to solve them graphically. And I want children, you have to copy down these all questions. Okay, once you copying this call questions, you have to make a file for this answer script, you have to make the answer script and after making the answer script and then you have to start practicing and the condition is by today itself you need to complete this topic. Got it? Next question. Question number 4. Draw a circle of radius 3 cm and construct a pair of tangents to it from an external point 8 cm away from the center measure their tangents. First you have to draw the construction and you need to do the measurement also here. As you can see here, measure the measure the length. Okay, you have to measure the length of the tangent. Got it? Good children. And children, still uh, if any student want to join our coaching classes, we conduct classes from class 6 to class 12 standard. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th and first PU and second PU, we conduct the classes here offline. The details has been given here. You can follow up. If you are interested, you can contact as per the given contact numbers. And admissions are open with the limited seats. Hurry up. And next, coming back to question number five, you can see here during a medical checkup of 35 students of a class, their weights were recorded as follows. They have given the weight in indirect form, they have given and number of students they have given, and they are asking us to calculate the mean. They are asking us to calculate the mean, right? And next question, you can see here, children. Question number 6, in triangle ABC, D is parallel to ABC, uh, D is parallel to BC and they have given three sides, uh, I mean uh, the dimensions of the three sides and they are asking you to find the another side that is AE, got it? You can draw the figure and you have to put these values into that and find the solution. And next solve X plus Y is equals to 5 and 2X minus 3Y is equals to 5. You need to solve these two equations, okay? But they have not mentioned by which method you can use like elimination method and you can do it. Okay, good. And next, coming back to question number 8. You can see here, the question number 8. Find the coordinates of point which divides the line segment joining the points. They have given two points coordinates in the ratio 3 is to 1 internally. Okay, actually here we have two conditions internally and externally. But uh, they have mentioned in your textbook internal concept, so we are giving the problem internally. But still time being, you can learn the condition of externally also, okay? 
and especially the CBSE students if you are following this video try to practice externally problems also means the method will remain same but externally condition just it will be different that's it nothing else once you have to go, go through it okay fine next you have to solve this equation by using formula method in the quadratic equation we have formula quadratic formula you need to use that quadratic formula to solve this equation and next find the nature of the roots of the equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equals to 0 got it so you need to find the nature of the roots of the equation children in the last k in i mean in the last previous video we have already done that sum so just we have changed this problem you can solve this question here the length of a rectangular field is three times its breadth if the area of the field is 147 square meter find its length and breadth so this is the problem you can just uh, change this question we have just changed this question you can just solve this problem i hope you have understood this class my dear students as you all knows it uh, our is the institute it is managed by avashan educational and charitable trust if any students are interested voluntarily if they are interested to donate some money okay so you can just forward the money to this account number phone pay or google pay or paytm so this is the number and the name will be displayed over there as shah faisal s so you can just uh, donate your money so we are raising the fund to educate the below poverty line students and also our intention is we want to educate each and everyone the students the deserving students okay due to the finances financial uh, financial purpose they cannot uplift their education just we want to help even those kind of students that is the reason even we are raising the money we are raising the finance through our youtube channel so if you are interested you can just pay to this respective contact number and even you can just transfer the amount through this account transfer i hope you all have liked this video still if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel evershine coaching groups do subscribe it click the like button and share this video as much as possible with your all friends thank you keep watching